everybody. In this video, I will present you Mininav. That is an exercise you will have to implement in Swift. The idea is to let you build a simple web browser that will handle large and small devices, support orientation, let the user wait with a nice activity wheel, and it will support also the following functions. Go to a home, that is a predefined URL, update the home URL, the predefined URL in fact, uh, go forward to the stack of web pages, go backward to the stack of web pages, and load a page from its URL. Your language is Swift, so no trouble with memory management at all. Let's have a first demo of this exercise on a small device, 4 inches diagonal string. So uh, here uh, I can uh, load the home URL, okay, and if while doing that I change orientation, everything is set up appropriately. Here I can change the default URL page, so I really want to do that, and then I get some location for a screen. I will type the URL of my lab, and if I reload again, I'm somewhere else. You see that now I can go backward, so if I tap, and once I have reached the uh, previous page, I can go forward, but I cannot go anymore backward. Okay, here I can go uh, forward. And the rest of the demo will be on another device. Let's now continue the demonstration on an iPhone X, so the one with the bevel. Uh, here you see that uh, I can uh, again load this page. Uh, if uh, I load a URL, for example, Google dot fr, okay, you see now that the activity view is not exactly at the same place, okay, it has moved, okay, it's still it's always right to this uh, home button. And of course, I can also activate uh, the uh, navigation over the stack of uh, pages. I can try to uh, enter a wrong address, for example. Here, so I do it, and then I get an error message. Okay, so no problem. And that is all we can demonstrate for that device. And finally, let's have a look on a large device. So the main difference, because the rest is uh, working exactly uh, in the same way, uh, the main difference resides in there, because here, when I want to change of URL, you observe that I have my uh, confirmation in a popover so if I tap outside the popover, things are just considered as I type cancel. If I type yes, then I get the possibility to change my URL. And aside this, of course, uh, my application works similarly to the others. I should mention that if I add another application running together, of course, things should be resized appropriately, uh, so uh, you should handle programmatically this change of size and orientation. Let me give you some hints. Uh, so the elements you will have to use are a UI toolbar and its UR bar button items, some UI alert views, okay, possibly in a popover, some WK web view, uh, and a UI activity indicator view uh, when the view is loading. There will be also a bit of protocol to implement and numerous completion handler associated to the uh, alert views and also to the WK web view. 
So you're ready to go and surf uh, on the web. Uh, you may of course enrich the exercise as usual. Uh, you have resources in the video's companion web page. And thank you for your attention. See you later.